with Susan. Welcome. Today I'm doing a uh, bloom swipe or pseudo swipe, pseudo resin swipe. I like to call it a bloom swipe. So, um, and I'm going to be using, um, I've glued two canvases together. This is just something that I didn't really like. So I'm going to pour over it, but I've glued it to the, um, the other one. Um, with wood glue and it seems to be holding on pretty good. It just looks like it's about maybe a half an inch bigger than this one on all the sides because um, I want to uh, do a swipe on it and then when I spin it I want all the paint to run down to the next one and see how that looks. Somebody um, that watched one of my videos suggested this for um, in their in my comments can't remember who it was but I always had it in the back of my mind and I thought I would try it one day so today's the day my base coat is designer beauty tone designer series satin white my pouring medium that i'm using is actually this one here this one here my it's very thick so i added about in this full can which is 911 milliliters i added six ounces of regular flow troll that I got in Canada flood flo flood flow troll to thin it down a bit because it was too thick but I liked it this is my pouring medium it's um, beauty tone again signature series semi gloss clear base I mixed this because it's also thick half and half with uh, flow troll again same flow troll I used for that my paints, my cell activator is um, Amsterdam um, Lamp Black, and I use, where is it, black ink. Uh, I don't have the bottle right here. Oh, there it is. Um, acrylic ink, it's carbon black. I added some of that, and I also added... Again, where did it go? Yes, here it is. Ink extender. It's for um, acrylic ink, or actually it's for um, block printing ink, but it, it works with this. It's to extend the ink. I will um, put my recipe in the description. Um, and there's no Australian flow trawl. There's just regular flow trawl ink, ink extender, and Amsterdam paint. That's it. Um, I will sh I will write the ex um, I will write the recipe in my description. My colors are Liquitex Basics fluorescent. Red mixed with I mixed all my paints with ink mixed with uh, vivid red orange acrylic ink. Um, I've got Liquitex heavy body uh, phthalo cyanine blue mixed with Prussian blue ink. Again, my recipe will be in my description. Liquitex um, Kodakodon Red mixed with Crimson. And there's only like four drops in here. Uh, Thylo Blue Artist Loft Series 2 mixed with Turquoise. 
turquoise deep and alizarin crimson from uh, Grumbucker mixed with magenta, Quadacridum magenta. Okay, just gonna move all this. Okay, as you can see, I um, just tried one. Didn't work out for me, so I had to swipe it off, uh, scrape it off. And I'm gonna, I didn't put enough paint, base coat paint on, and when I started swiping things off, I swiped too much paint off. So, try again. I'm putting extra extra paint on. It's going to flow over the sides, but that's okay. I just got to work quick. And it's a little lopsided here, so um, I'm going to put a stick underneath. So, all right, try again, try again, I'm going to be quick this time, and I am not going to blend the colors, I'm just going to swipe. more red too because it was very 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 dark It's gonna flow over anyways. Damn. I tried to stop it from flowing over, but it's gonna do it. I just gotta work fast. Okay, that's enough of that. Okay, red. I'm just blobbing it on. I'm sure I have enough paint now. And I thought I had a little, I thought I had too much last time. All right. Quickly. Um Use my black cell activator again. Okay. Um, try bigger swipes. Where's my?
kind of let some of the paint go there so that it's not, I'm not taking too much paint off. Okay. Change sides because this is getting soft. Uh, it's not cut straight, so I'm going to cut it straight. Oops. All right. It's looking better already. Nothing's happening here. Why, why, why? All oh, right, I have to get some more skinny pieces. That looks pretty cool. This did nothing. Don't know what's going on there. I just feel like I need to do something in there. That looks good. Well, and I think I'm just going to spin it, see what happens. 
Hopefully it's better than my last one. Looks okay. I guess when you spin it, it opens up the cells. I'm just adding more paint here so that um, it will help run it down, I hope. Okay, spin it again. Would probably work better for a, with a balloon because you're not taking paint off by swiping. But I, uh, with this recipe, I get a lot better um, cells with um, a swipe. Starting to look pretty good. So there's a couple of spots that I don't have anything on them, so. get some of this white area. Oh, there's nothing coming down here. That's the problem. Paint is a little thi on the thick side too, so that could be my problem. Okay, I have to start wiping off the edges here so that it doesn't fly all over the floor and me. I'm in my sunroom. I don't want to get any paint anywhere. Okay. <clears throat> 
Missing a spot right here. Okay, I don't think it's moving anymore on the top. And it looks pretty cool on the sides. It's all covered now. Awesome. Just this one little tiny corner here. It's okay. Let's make sure. I stop. Okay. Well, I think it's all covered now. I'm just going to give it one more spin. So, I will bring you in close for a bit of close up, and I'm going to bring this out here because it's dark back there. the sides. And it's pretty cool, pretty awesome. I like it, I really like it. So I'm going to let this dry and show you the results. The end of the video so keep watching hi I'm back with the dried results it dried really nice nice and smooth 
not as much um, cells are lacing as I would like, but I still think it looks pretty cool. I'll bring you down for a close-up and I'll show you the sides. really nice. So thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Have a great day.